What's up guys and welcome to Marcus Views and today I'm going to be reviewing this figure and probably I know that you have seen this review from another guy but hey what does Marcus Views think about this action figure? Spider-Man Dr. Octopus from the Spider-Man Wave. <laughs> this is this action figure it's amazing I've been waiting to get me this action figure so finally I found it at uh, my local GameStop well not local but in the area uh, well I, I have to tr uh, drive two hours I think <laughs> so it's not that local at all <laughs> but yeah it was the last one so uh, a lot of people are uh, getting this action figure this is a kind of hot toy because we are finally getting a Dr. Octopus and this is pretty cool I really like it, it has a classic outfit, a classic look. Beside the box we have a pretty cool picture of Dr. Octopus, it's pretty cool, it's amazing. This look is my favorite look of Dr. Octopus. And the back of the box we can see that this action figure does not have a piece for the Builder figure, uh, Marvel Legend, so I think that's pretty cool. Because what if I only wanted the Dr. Octopus from the whole way? You know, so you 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 only get the the action figure Doctor Octopus. So yeah, in the bottom you can see the display of the whole collection. So let's go ahead and open this action figure, and here it is, Doctor Octavius, A.K.A. Doctor Octopus. And this guy does does not come with any other accessories, but he comes with his tentacles, of course. <laughs> But what I meant is that he, he doesn't come with an extra pair of hands or another head. Okay, so I'm a bit disappointed because I thought that the tentacles were going to be bendables. I mean, I think that they're going, they were going to have articulation, but no, they don't. And man, I wish that they could have articulations. And I thought that the claws will have articulation as well, but no, they don't have it either. So yeah, that's something that kind of bothers me because you know I'm a collector, but also an, an animator. So and I have a plan, you know, for a, a, an upcoming stop motion Spider-Man versus Doctor Octopus and. You know it's gonna it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to an animate the tentacles. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to make a customization or something. I have seen some other guys who have done, uh, who has done the 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 tentacles articulated. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing for my upcoming video. So yeah, and this is the other end, so you can attach in the back of the figure. It's pretty easy. We're gonna do that in just a minute. But we're going to review the action figure itself. Doctor Octopus. He has a doctor on octopuses. <laughs> uh, he's a doctor. Okay, this look is my favorite. This is um, this is one of my favorite villains from Marvel. Very iconic character. Dr. Octopus, one of the uh, the reasons why I started watching Spider-Man animated series. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And you can see the underneath the glasses, you can see his eyes, but you cannot remove the glasses. Well, I think you you can, but it's glued to the head. Um, you can remove it and glue it back on, or I don't know. But I don't, I don't think I'm going to remove it for articulation. He has oops. He has articulation on his head and this guy comes with this type of articulation for the torso for the for right there uh, and I kind of like this articulation better than the other one because it has more movement on his body but when this action figure has this type of articulation it doesn't have articulations right there okay so for the legs are fully articulated the only thing is, is that he has a small legs so he kind of looks like he has chicken legs, <laughs> chicken wings legs. <laughs> yeah, he has short legs, but yeah, it, it is fully articulated, and this is pretty cool. That's the the long that he can open wide his legs. 
you can see it like this so yeah i really like this this the marvel legend uh, comes marvel legend figures come with, with a lot of articulation very very well articulated also for the arms it has 0.2 articulation the elbow you can twist his arm like that it has articulation on the wrist as well and he can reach to his head like kind of grabbing his glasses uh, let, let me try with the with his other arm like he's going to remove his glasses in a very dramatic way <laughs> yeah it's pretty cool he can reach to, to his head I, I really like it like most of the figure don't can can do this okay for uh, for the arms i mean i think that the shorter arms are going on the top and the long arms are going in the, in the bottom but i just realized that it doesn't matter where you you attach the arms because it just doesn't have a, a, a specific order you know but yeah i, I put it like this uh, on the first first time that i attached the figures as another thing that's kind of sad <laughs> i thought the the tanakos were able to hold the figure in the air but no that's something that this figure doesn't do his tanakos are not meant to hold the figure in the air so yeah i'm gonna have to make uh, a customization with his tanakos so i can animate him but yeah, he looks pretty cool on, on, on this position and you can switch the tentacles, put the top ones in the bottom ones. It's pretty easy to detach and attach them again as well. But yeah, I mean, I, I think I thought that the tentacles were going to be able to hold him, <laughs> you know, like this. But no, this, that's not the case right now. So yeah, whatever, okay. This figure looks amazing anyway. And here's a comparison with Spider-Man 6 inch, so five and a half inch, he's kind of the same height. The Doctor Octopus is a bit short, shorter. <laughs> and here's a comparison with the Iron Man from Infinity War. So you can see that Doctor Octopus is shorter. Okay, so I switched the tentacles. I put the bottom ones in the top and I put the top ones in the bottom ones. So you can see it doesn't matter in which order do you you can attach the arm you can do some uh, you know you can put it whatever you you want and he looks he still looks amazing he looks really cool really great I really like it but it's that's just that's that's just my only complaint that the tentacles are not articulated but yeah that's just a minor flaw that, that I have well, yeah, guys, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's the only thing. Like I said, I really love this figure. I mean, they, they should have add bendables art, uh, and articulated tentacles, like, for example, Mr. Fantastic arm right here. I'm going to show you. Uh, the, his arm is, is, is articulated because it has a, a wire inside, so you can kind of bend the arm, but yeah, whatever. Okay guys, so what to think about these action figures, if you spot him in games, at game store or any other store, you should get this action figure because it's kind of hot out there. So yeah guys, what to think about this action figure, thank you guys for watching, I really like this figure. Okay, so uh, I'm logging out, see you guys later, bye.